Hi guys, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, then thanks for stopping by. I am Nisha and I make videos on makeup and beauty. And if you want to know me a little better, a little more, then do subscribe to my channel and get notified on my upcoming videos. This is the look that I usually go for and I can create this in less than 10 minutes as you can see the description and uh, I like to keep my eyes uh, very subtle, very simple but I like to switch on my lip color so that is what I do. First I like to start off with concealing the spots and the under eyes and then I move on to the Nykaa Skin Genius foundation. This foundation is a beautiful finished foundation i've been using this quite a lot lately and uh, it is quite a buildable foundation as well and is also a foundation with natural finish so i absolutely love that thing about uh, this foundation and uh, then i like to highlight with the maybelline concealer this is the instant age rewind in medium and it's a beautiful concealer i already have a backup and uh, then I like to go ahead and set my under eyes with a yellow banana powder. It can either be the Kat Von D one or the Anastasia one or my Chi Chi palette or anything but it's the yellow undertoned powder. And then I like to go ahead uh, with the L'Oreal... L'Oreal? I like to go ahead uh, with the L'Oreal Matte Magic foundation this is the compact and uh, you can see how much love I've given to this particular compact and again using uh, my absolute favorite uh, this is the Sephora bronzer it's a beautiful beautiful bronzer I just can't stop using this one I know I've been raving about this quite a lot uh, but I just can't stop and now I'm going to take uh, these two shades from the Shade and Light palette and contour and chisel those cheekbones. I just cannot get out of the house without contouring. So contouring is so important for me in terms of makeup even though if I just use concealer and a compact I still have to contour so that's something I love doing. Let me know what you guys like to do. What's your favorite thing in makeup? And uh, this is my favorite, favorite palette for contouring. Uh, the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette is something I use almost every time I do my makeup. So uh, that's about it. And for my brows, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Brow Pomade. And I'm going to keep my eyes very, very simple. This is how I like to do my eyes on a daily basis. And uh, I've been using the Huda Beauty palette ever since I bought it. It is my absolute, absolute favorite. I absolutely love this um, palette. And uh, I'm going to use uh, those two simple transition shades uh, from the Huda Beauty palette and uh, just work that on my crease also i'm going to mention uh, the product details in the description box down below just in case you want to check the shade names and all of that then you can uh, probably go through the description box also do not forget to follow me on instagram that's where i am quite active i upload a lot and uh, i am quite active on insta stories as well so don't forget to probably follow me on my instagram and here i'm using the highlighter from the maybelline contour uh, palette that was recently launched and uh, i'm also using the blush shade and blending everything in right from my bronzer to my contour to my highlight and just kind of swirling my brush around and uh, blending it all in And now I'm taking the shade uh, Black Truffle from uh, the Huda Beauty palette and just using that as a simple uh, liner and 
and uh, this is what I like to do mostly. I'm not quite an eyeliner person uh, on a daily basis or uh, while I'm in a rush. I just like to take a black shadow and smudge it around and give that eyeliner feel. And uh, I'm also using the uh, Push Up Drama Mascara for my eyelashes. And now I'm going to pop on that same highlighter on my brow bone and my inner corners and now I'm going to line and fill my lips uh, with this lip pencil from 3 Concept Eyes Cosmetics oh my my just look at that color it's so pretty i love this lip color i've been wearing this quite a lot this one is rebel from mac cosmetics and now i'm going to spray the scandinavia finishing spray i use this quite a lot on my brides and it gives such a beautiful finish so I'm going to wrap this makeup look and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this one. I hope this was helpful and uh, thank you so much for stopping by and uh, subscribing to my channel. Love you guys. Bye.